Hey guys, Go Kingler here, and welcome to Road to God episode 40, I think. And this confirmed. is just me muting some French people. Um, and this is the first episode using the Scorpion Evo. If you watch my last video, I we mentioned that line. I completely slated this gun in the past. I was never a fan of it, of using it. Um, I hated the range on it and how much it kicks. And yet, I've actually really enjoyed using it so far. It might have been because I just hated the PDW that much, and that I did so badly with the PDW that this is better in comparison. But um, it's generally been working for me. It might also be the fact that the new DLC came out, and whenever a new DLC comes out in COD, you generally end up playing those maps quite a lot. And the DLC maps are really quite small, apart from Mirage, which is kind of medium size, I guess. Grind is in this map and downhill. Yeah, downhill. Um, those fairly small maps and that suits the Scorpion pretty well. In fact, never really use this gun to much extent and it's not until that I started doing this uh, that I I don't think I've ever used a gun that is so quick to kill in a close quarter situation, obviously Hostile shotguns, drone uh, apart from shotguns, maybe the dual would be 23R pistols, those tend to shred up close, but other than those, this thing will pretty much win any 1v1, uh, if you're in the same room as someone, um, and you'll probably see that a lot in this, even, even, even if the other person starts shooting close, you can generally turn around and just win any 1v1. And I was pretty surprised to get this gameplay. I hadn't done well on this map, to be honest. I hadn't done well on any of the DLC maps. Maybe Mirage, I got quite close to getting some kill streaks. But this one especially, actually especially Downhill, had gone worse than the others. But um, I hadn't really had any good games in this, so when it came up, I played it kind of begrudgingly, and I thought I should probably get some practice at it. Um, this is a bit of a strange moment. That guy runs off, and I think I'll take care of this guy. The first one has run out of the other side of this toilet, but I didn't see it when I was playing, um, which is why I'm now extremely fucking paranoid. So I'm kind of lurking in here like some kind of toilet stalker. Um, so yeah, I was kind of begrudgingly playing it. I wasn't really expecting to do very well. And, oh! The reason I'm carrying this small, I'm levelling up the launches as I'm going, and I quite like the small, because if you use it with scavenger, as soon as you kill anybody and you pick up a scavenger pack, you will instantly have a second small rocket. So if you have taken one kill since being alive, you will be ready to take down any kind of helicopter that comes in, uh, like I did there, which is extremely handy. And I'm also started running C4. I hadn't really been running any lethals recently, apart from Combat Axe, because I wanted to get the Combat Axe challenges completed. And uh, since I've done those, I was wondering what I could use, and I hadn't been using C4 for some reason in this game. I've been using it a lot of Modern Warfare 3. Um, it's just incredibly useful if you know someone's around a corner and you can just throw it around without actually having to go around yourself. There's absolutely no chance of dying. And what is possibly a bit short-sighted on Treyarch's end is you can restock your C4 from scavenger packs, which to me seems extremely overpowered. And I'm surprised they haven't patched it. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that would be something which would be complained about. Um, but I'm kind of glad they don't, because I haven't been killed a lot by C4 in this game. It seems to, once again, be very underestimated. I'm not sure why so few people use it. Personally, I think it's probably one of the better lethals. But uh, back to the Scorpion. I haven't been a fan of silences at all in this game either. They've got quite a large range penalty. I think it's minus 30% since the patch. Which is fairly colossal, especially when you're talking M um, SMGs. There's the VTOL. Camping in the toilet again. Um, and ever since putting a silencer on an SMG, pretty much done pretty poorly with it. Uh, I didn't like it on the PDW. Well, I didn't like the PDW. 
but putting the silence on it just made it so unbearably weak. I really didn't like it. I don't like putting it on the MSMC. It just tends to nerve it way too much for me. Got shot down very quickly and just about get the swarm in time. Friendly swarm inbound. Um, but on this gun, because it's such close quarters and and it fires so fast anyway, and it's already quite high power. Oh, this is a real screw up. Kind of figure I'll fire some more at this guy, but um, should have probably realised people are going to be running inside of this one up there. Uh, but this gun fires so fast and it's got such kind of high base damage anyway that uh, putting a silencer on it doesn't really make a difference, especially if you... Oh, that's me being killed by my own swarm, which um, <laughs> I kind of forgot would happen. Uh, that putting a silencer on it doesn't really make much of a difference if you're using it kind of as it's intended, and the scorpion's obviously intended to be used very close quarters. It's a quite high recoil low range gun and I haven't really noticed much difference between kind of using it non-silence and silence just because of that kind of close quarters thing I mean, it just absolutely yeah, shreds people, confirmed. it's brilliant this, that's a case of looking uh, the wrong way coming out of a door um, I didn't really know these maps too well, I still well, no, I know the maps well enough. It's the it's the spawning that's the problem. And I've heard it said, I'm not sure if it's true, Call of Duty works on a system now that if you get killed very soon after you spawn or you kill someone very soon after, after their spawn, it gets logged as a bad spawn and then that gets modified in some way. I don't know if it does it automatically or it just records the data for a patch. I'm not sure how that goes. But apparently it gets logged as a bad spawn if a kill happens within a certain amount of time of a spawn. Um, which I don't think is a great system. It kind of makes me feel they've been a bit lazy. And they'll just kind of rely on it being sorted out later. Whereas I think they should probably just test it properly before release. Now, the killer tries to get me through a window, which is kind of scary. Um, so, rather predictably, the spawns aren't great. Both ways now. The spawns still aren't brilliant as soon as the new DLC comes out. I think it's probably usually making that right now. <laughs> and it will probably be still a while till it's kind of tweaked to perfection. This map hasn't been too bad with it though, I'll admit. It's downhill is dreadful. I don't know what the spawns are like on that. It's to swap extremely quickly. Mirage as well, I've had a spawn swap within about the first 20 seconds. I mean literally run 10 meters forward, turn around and there's people spawning behind me. It's very strange, especially considering it's the larger map of the new DLC maps. It seems a bit odd. It's the only one in Blake Ground War. Um, but anyway, the next two videos are going to be from actually the same sitting. I had quite a successful run of games. Uh, I've got some swarms and a lot of VTOLs. <coughs> um, which is good to, good to see really because as I said in my last video, I haven't really played normally. I've just been playing a lot of pistols and specials since the game came out. Um, that was a complete misunderstanding. I thought there was a door there. Um, still loading this map. <laughs> and this guy pops out nice for the final kill. Um, so that about wraps it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Don't be shy to leave a comment. And I will see you next time.